And today we're talking to Justine and Samuel Mitchell. We're talking about cake decorating at the show. Guys, how long have you been involved in doing this? Oh, probably around about 10 years for me. Yeah. And for Samuel, I'd say about four years for him. What's the most important, the way it looks or the way it tastes? Both. Equally as important, because there's no point in having a beautiful cake if it doesn't taste nice as well. Talk us through what you'll be showing us today. We are going to decorate a buttercream cake in this uh, theme of Green Frog, because that's this year's show theme. So we're going to talk about how you crumb coat a cake, how you then decorate it, the accents that you can put on a cake, some tips and tricks to help your cake look the best it possibly can. Have you got any tips or tricks that you're willing to share with us? So you've got to do a crumb coat first and with buttercream especially, you've got to put it in the fridge in between layers because otherwise you're just going to scrape off the work you've already done. So that's a really important thing that a lot of people who don't decorate don't understand the differences. And I know the first time I did a buttercream cake, I didn't know what a crumb coat was and it was a disaster. So that's a really important thing. When did Sam win his first prize? When he was in preschool, he won his first. He decorated some biscuits. He did animals on his biscuits. So the arrowroot biscuits and he did like a pig face, a chicken face and a sheep, I think, were the decorations he did on his. What are your favourite styles, Sam? The first time I entered at the Darwin Show, I did a picture of my dad's cup. Cool. Biscuit. Yeah, he drew a, um, a ute on a series of biscuits and stop signs and things like that on fondant. Well done. So, yeah, that was a good one. And you did pretty well. He did, yeah. He won that one and he got um, a special award for his category as well. And guys, what would you like to see as a theme for the big 70th Royal Darwin Show? I think being such a big celebration, it'd have to be a celebration theme, I think. Party theme. We're going to decorate, we've got a, a cake in the style of a green frog which has been, it's just an eight inch round cake, which we've um, made up a little design. We drew a design first, and then um, we put that on top of the cake, cut around the outside to get the shape of the frog. And once we've done that, we put a crumb coat on the outside. So that's where you see all this chocolate cake poking through. What we've done is we've just put a layer of buttercream on that, and that locks in the crumbs. So when we do this final decorating on the top, we're not gonna have that into our cake to ruin the, the design of our cake. So now what Samuel's doing, he is covering the top of the cake with a um, buttercream piped with a star tip. And the star tip gives you that nice little flowery pattern on top. It's a great one to use to cover a lot of cake with not too much um, buttercream. And as you can see, Samuel's eight and he's able to do this. So it's a good technique for kids and for adults to use, particularly if you don't have a whole lot of experience with piping. And once we've covered the cake, then we add some fondant accents to that. And where I've drawn the picture here with the eyes and the mouth, I've used that as a template and cut out pieces in fondant and let them dry. Then we can sit them on top of the cake and that'll give us the facial features of the frog. So once Samuel's finished filling the top of the cake in, we'll add those features on the top. So all we do, is gently push the features in to the buttercream and the buttercream will hold them there. We don't need anything else. For the eyes, this is just a yellow fondant disc and then a piece of black fondant on top of it. And then I've used some edible, they're called luster dust, which you can get at any cake decorating shop, to just to give it a bit of colour and a bit of depth. And we know that our lovely green tree frogs up in Darwin have some little spots. We've just got some little fondant circles. So there we go, it's our little spotty tree, tree frog. You can see what he looks like before we um, finish off the sides. So yeah, we can continue to pipe around the sides to finish that whole thing off, and uh, then we have a delicious cake to eat. See you next week.